Thank you. Now, a report out this week shows Vigo County schools are ahead of other students in the state when it comes to reading. It is finding the, the Indiana first ever statewide reading exam, I read. In tonight's Education Watch 10, News 10's Jacqueline Beavis heads to a local second grade classroom to see how they prepare students for the performance. I want you guys to pull out your comic strips from last week. Susan Olson spends her weeks with more than 300 second graders. They're always eager to see us, and we're always eager to see them. She's one of four teachers in the writing cadre. They visit second graders around the county, helping them put their thoughts on paper. I go into their classroom for about 50 minutes for an action-packed, writing-filled, strategy-focused lesson. Every second grader in the area gets the very same action-packed lesson plan once a week. And since the program started, writing hasn't changed, but the focus on it has. 13 years ago, writing was one of the areas that didn't have a lot of emphasis. <laughs> you do that. I love that. Excellent. In a world enthralled in the pros and cons of teaching to a test, writing seems to be the exception. Writing is one of the skills that they'll be using throughout their life, whether it's in a career or uh, going on to college. A child that writes, reads, and a child that reads, writes. That makes this program all the more vital with the added third grade I read test. The latest results show Vigo County reads well, and the writing cadre believes they know where it started. We start the year talking about what a sentence is and how to develop a good subject and verb, and by the end of the year, our students can write a page and a half. Can you give me one? Then, good job. Olson's weekly sessions offer everything a student needs to turn sentences into pages and pages into books. I'm able to uh, specifically direct them with strategies and skills that will help them become lifelong writers and readers. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Chris James, Jacqueline Beavis, News 10. The school corporation has a similar program called PALS in their fifth grade classrooms. Once again, you can see those results on our website, WTHITV.com.